Hello, and welcome to DocuSign's Developer Conference. My name is Lauren Dunn. By day, I'm a senior Salesforce evangelist here at DocuSign. But for the next two days, I get to be your cruise director and hostess with the mostess. So when you see my face pop up, don't be alarmed. I'm here to make sure you have the best time possible. So with that, did you know that DocuSign developers and partners make up 60% of DocuSign's transactions? Well, now you do. So we are here to celebrate you, everyone tuning in. And by celebrate, I mean celebrate. That was loud. Ah! All kidding aside, this conference is for the builders, the innovators, the movers, the shakers, the people who don't want to settle for what we've always done it like this. So let's dive in. So as that snazzy sizzle reel just showed you, we've got 25 sessions over the next two days, ranging from keynotes, like the session you're in right now, and we have some amazing ones tomorrow, I will get to them later, to coding workshops where we get to build stuff together. We're also going to not just focus on the how, but show you what you can create with DocuSign's platform with some really cool, informative breakout sessions. Before we get into the swing of things, please note that DocuSign is a publicly traded company we will be discussing some forward-looking statements in this conference. So please base all your purchasing and investment decisions independent of anything we say or show in this conference. Now that we have that covered, I hope you're comfortable because we're going to take you through four key journeys through this developer conference. The first being a deeper dive into eSignature. You may not know this, but the eSignature API has over 400 endpoints. In fact, the DocuSign eSignature product that you know and love is built on a version 2.1 of our eSignature API. So regardless of what you want to do with eSignature, how you want to customize your experience, it can be done with that API. The Agreement Cloud is far more than just eSignature though. So we take you through multiple DocuSign APIs over the course of the conference. From Monitor API to ID Evidence API and Notary API. We also have a few sessions that talk about what you can do with, to stitch together CLM API and the rest of the agreement cloud, whether it's eSignature or my personal favorite partner, Salesforce. And while we are here at a conference called DocuSign Developer Conference, the value really is about what you and your teams can do with the agreement cloud, not just how you do it. There are a series of sessions here talking about no and low code, whether you're using DocuSign's agreement actions or partnering with Google, Microsoft, or Zapier. You'll have plenty of opportunity to hear from partners who have built amazing things upon the DocuSign platform and hopefully inspire you to kick your digital transformation into high gear. Woohoo! I got through that whole slide with only one buzzword. I think I deserve a high five. So five. With that, I'm going to hand over to two of our amazing leaders who are shaping the future of the Agreement Cloud, CTO Kamal Hattie and SVP of Engineering Tom Casey. Over to you, Kamal. Thank you, Lauren, and thank you, everyone, for the opportunity to talk to you today. I'm super excited to be here and talk to you about our vision on the future of agreements. Agreements are at the heart of pretty much everything that we do together from the permission slip for a field trip to buying that dream home to a multi-billion dollar transaction. It's all based on the agreements that you sign. And this has been the case for centuries. And for centuries, it's been the same process from making a mark on a clay tablet, to using a quill on a parchment, to using a modern ballpoint pen on recycled paper. This was the case until DocuSign fundamentally changed this centuries-old paradigm by making electronic signatures ubiquitous. This really was the beginning uh, of the digital transformation revolution. Now, we are revolutionizing this yet again, how we work with agreements. We're introducing a new agreement experience and ushering in the era of the smart agreement. The smart agreements are as much a fundamental transformative leap forward in the digital era as electronic signatures were in the analog era. In some senses, as electronic signatures are to paper, 
Uh, in fact, even to those clay tablets, smart agreements are as much a leap forward from the PDF. This is the next generation of agreement experience. Natively digital, active, live, and available anywhere, anytime. At the heart of this new agreement, of this new experience, is the smart agreement, which transforms PDFs, which essentially are nothing you know, but pictures of, of a paper document, to a natively digitally structured object. And this allows us to unlock not just the content of the agreement, but also its intent, the semantics of the agreement. We're able to capture you know, and model key aspects of the agreement, such as you know, the parties, due dates, conditions, obligations, and so on and so forth. Key systems that the agreement is related to can connect in and map into the agreement structure. And with this use of the, of the data and connections, we can reason over and act on the agreement, making it live, integrated with business processes, rather than being just that merely static a picture of a paper that we talked about. Now, the best way to understand this is to see it in action. Peter Hun, the founder of Clause.io, a pioneer in the space of smart agreements, and which DocuSign recently acquired, will now show us a demo of this technology. Over to you, Peter. Agreements today are effectively pictures of paper. Whilst being represented in digital form, they act as a documentary record of an agreement at a given point in time when that agreement is signed. At DocuSign, we have pioneered the development of e-signature and other document technologies that enable you to agree better. This is just the start of the journey, however. The next step is to move away from documents that act as records towards being living, functional parts of your IT infrastructure. We get there by changing the paradigm of what an agreement fundamentally is, by replacing pictures of paper with digitally native agreements. This is the world of smart agreements. A smart agreement is a document that is represented as a structured entity. It is not merely text on a page or a picture of paper. The data within that agreement conforms to a model or series of models that enables us to natively understand what the agreement represents and the meaning of the data within that document. It can be made actionable by e-signature, rendered into document formats like PDF, and can communicate with external systems to drive business processes and value across the agreement lifecycle. In this demonstration, we shall see a smart agreement using DocuSign CLM and Salesforce. Tally Solar is a global manufacturer of solar panels. Sarah is finalizing a new sales order in Salesforce for their clients, California warehouses, who are buying solar panels from Tally. Sarah has created a quote and uses the DocuSign CLM for Salesforce integration to generate a new sales order directly from within Salesforce. Sarah confirms all of the terms are correct, including a warranty that states that the parts that their client is buying are covered up to 90% of their cost. DocuSign CLM then generates a new sales order with a warranty addendum. Sarah reviews the terms to ensure that they are correct. Sarah can now send the document to California warehouses for review and signature. Once signed, the agreement kicks off several workflows in the background on the DocuSign agreement cloud. The smart agreement consists of key obligation data from the agreement. The warranty provision is transformed into a smart clause. The smart clause utilizes logic running in the background to operationalize the warranty. It tracks which parts are covered under the agreement, the covered amount, and how much of the warranty coverage has been claimed against. The contract continues to run as a living agreement. Fast forward a few years. Blake at California Warehouses contacts Tally Customer Support and informs them he is having an issue with some of the solar panels. He requests a visit from a field technician. The Tally Support agent creates a work order using Salesforce Build Service detailing Blake's request. The previously generated warranty is attached to the work order from within Salesforce, along with the work order details. Now that the work order has been saved, Tally service technician Paul is deployed to visit Blake and assess the repairs that are needed. Once on site, Paul determines that multiple panels will need replacement. Paul logs into Salesforce build service from his mobile device and adds a new work order line item for California warehouses. The smart clause in the workflow listens to the parts added in the line items in field service and calculates how much of the repair is covered by the warranty, taking into account any previous claims, the current cost of parts, and the existing warranty terms. In this instance, the warranty covered 90% of the repair. The smart clause running on the DocuSign agreement cloud updates the warranty in California Warehouse's Salesforce record and, taking into account the valid warranty, generates an invoice for the remaining 10%. By utilizing a smart agreement, 
Tally were able to deliver the best possible customer experience by automating business processes using a living agreement rather than a static PDF. Smart agreements enable agreement information to be accessed and consumed where and when you need it across the agreement lifecycle, automated obligation management capabilities, and real-time agreement updates across the systems used to manage your business. The future of agreements is being led by DocuSign with our exciting work on smart agreements. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kamal. Well, thank you, Peter. As we saw, this is well beyond anything we can do with a simple PDF. But the only information we have is the unstructured text inside the document. Now with the content and the intent of the agreement unlocked, we have the information to act on and work with things such as automated smart obligations. These agreements now are always connected and updated in real time as the agreement is live and active and always available to improve our business processes and drive change and update how we work with these kinds of documents. Let's change a bit now and talk uh, about where we work with agreements. We are not only transforming the definition and what you can do with agreements, but also where and how you can work with them. They're increasingly living in a, in a mobile first world. And this is even more true in geographies such as Latin America, Asia, and Africa, where the mobile device is not just a computing device, but it's the only computing device with no laptop or desktop to switch to. These are mobile only societies in some senses. So why did these increasingly mobile centric societies, uh, they have ubiquity with, with this mobility, but they also have connectivity problems. And as such, we have invested in a mobile first experience that works in all situations, anywhere. One of our largest API customers is Claro, a leading telecommunications company in Latin America. Anywhere access and a great mobile experience were imperative to what they were trying to deliver. In this case, with field technicians going across the country to on-site the customers' homes to install you know, internet and television services, Claro was looking a way to digitize that analog paperwork and allow each technician uh, to be able to go and digitally work with the customer on the tablet they had uh, and, and remove all this paperwork. And the way they did that was utilizing our API. Now a technician can go through agreements with the client on the tablet they have in hand, reducing human error due to spelling mistakes or you know, illegible scrawl handwriting uh, and speeding up the process in general by having pre-filled fields. So everyone gets a much, much better experience. Claro is sending almost two and a half million transactions per month with our APIs. And over the past two years on average, they've reduced paper usage by eight million sheets. And alone on this paper cost, they've saved $125,000 per year. Nothing to say about the environmental positive impact here. Based on this process improvement, and cost savings, they're now looking to continue to advance uh, this mobile first, always available user experience. They're now looking to use our Android SDK to enable offline access for the times when a tech is on, a, is on an appointment in a remote part of the country where you know, connectivity may not be that great uh, and allow customers to work with that offline agreement. They're also looking to add services that might have been left off in the original order and allow the users, the customers, to add those while the technician is on site. Uh, later today, one of our product managers, Ricky, Lu uh, Ricky Luang, will do a deep dive uh, on this mobile SDK and, uh, and you can learn uh, in more detail what Claro was using and how they did it. And I encourage you to go and attend that workshop uh, if you have the time. We are going beyond agreements uh, being available anytime, anywhere to also enabling anyone to build agreement-centric solutions. In the past few years, the demand for digital solutions has greatly accelerated, you know, prompting the need for simpler, faster, more affordable processes that can be built uh, and still meet the strict needs of the enterprise and the high standards the enterprise usually has. This has led to the rise of what people refer to as the citizen developers, who are leveraging low-code or no-code uh, tools to rapidly create business-centric applications. Now DocuSign is empowering these citizen developers, these process creators, the power users, the experts and business teams 
and also less sophisticated IT professionals to easily and quickly build on the DocuSign platform. These citizen developers are everywhere. They sit in every department in the organizations and they have a constant pulse on the unmet needs of their teams. The requirements are in their head. Nobody has to go and write them down for them. By empowering them with the tools to self-serve with simplified automations, businesses are already seeing an accelerated time to value, increase agility. And this is great for everyone, for the users, in, in that the problems they actually care about most are being solved. And for centralized IT and development teams, the, in that they don't have now to bear the full burden uh, of the process optimization work. Best of all, no code and low code tools enable citizen developers to create process optimizations all on a trusted platform that meets the needs of the organizations. Ram Tulasi will now show us an example of this in action. Over to you, Ram. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to showcase to you Agreement Actions, a no code solution for common agreement processes. Let's just jump right into the use case. Uh, the example use case that I want to walk you through here is one of an HR employee onboarding one. Employee onboarding typically begins at the point when an offer letter is signed. So in this example, and it, a candidate has just signed the offer letter, and now it's up to the human resources department to take a bunch of uh, actions to actually complete the onboarding. These actions may start with as simple as completing and storing this agreement in the right place in the system of record for compliance purposes, organizing it the way, just the way the department likes to, to exporting some of the data out so you can actually build reporting uh, on, top, so on top of uh, you know, the recording processes overall, to then kicking off activities downstream around account access to background checks to um, you know, benefits package sharing and whatnot. So inherently it's a, it's a bunch of business process and business uh, logic that needs to be captured and maintained overall. And, and agreement actions provides this concept of agreement rules that allow you to take some of those um, core elements and automate them using agreement rules. Agreement rules really trigger off of you know, a, a particular event. So in this case, that example is that completed envelope or completed signed agreement. And then you can augment that with adding conditions. In this example, we're talking about anytime an e-sign envelope of type offer letter is completed, you could trigger downstream action, right? And the actions, like I said, you know, are fairly straightforward archiving them to your system of record. But it's not that simple as that. It may be a team shared drive, in this case, a Google Drive. It may be uh, organize it in a particular way using combination of um, you know, static and dynamic fields, exporting the data out to a spreadsheet. So you can, you can use you know, powerful reports based on that to actually kicking off workflow and activities like that to orchestrate uh, true onboarding experience, some of which may be manual steps. So agreement actions is this is a central point now where you can set up a rule and forget it, right? And all new envelopes, all new agreements within DocuSign can then be processed downstream automatically for you. Let the continuous automation really take over. So just to complete the demo here, you can see here that, you know, the, the agreement action that I had set up there allows you to capture all the candidates in your system of record just the way you want it, you know, in a zip format, if that's what you like. Capture the, the, the data in the envelope in the right location so you can build fun reports like, you know, hiring by department, hiring by, uh, you know, country and whatnot to actually kicking off workflows downstream. So we're really excited to empower you to build more automation on top of our platform, the trusted platform that you've come to expect of DocuSign, as well as really remove those manual components, improve agility and uh, time to value for you. So come talk to us more about the no-code solutions and we're really excited uh, to, to take this journey with you. Thank you.
thanks, Ram. Uh, if you are interested in knowing more, Ram will be walking through agreement actions tomorrow morning uh, in, in more details. And you can join him and see uh, how best to use this the, the, the platform that he was talking about today. Going beyond enabling the use of do the DocuSign toolset, we are also leveraging the popular no-code, low-code tools from leading vendors such as Microsoft, Zapier, and Google. These market leaders that are here at the developer conference will showcase how citizen developers can create business transformations across your entire set of workforce, um, workplace technologies. So this afternoon, our DocuSign team will walk you through how to create workflows using the Power Microsoft Power Automate, which is part of their you know, uh, Power platform. And then tomorrow, Zapier and Google will join us to continue the conversation around enabling citizen developers. Zapier will actually showcase how we can create the connectivity between DocuSign and your other business critical applications through click-based Zap templates. And we're teaming up with Google Cloud to launch a DocuSign e-signature app script library, allowing you to bring core features of the e-signature API into your app script projects and to create customizations uh, in the Google workspace. Well, thank you all for your time and attention in joining me as you went over this new agreement experience available anywhere, anytime, and allowing anyone to rapidly deliver powerful agreement solutions. With that, I'll pass it over to Tom Casey, our Senior Vice President of Engineering. Thank you, Kamal, and thanks to all of you for joining us today. This virtual event is the largest developer-focused event that we've ever done here at DocuSign, and we absolutely love your engagement and enthusiasm. Kamal showcased some amazing innovations that we're working on. And I want to focus you on the tools that are available to you today as part of the DocuSign platform. Everything we do is built on a strong foundation of trust that was established over the last 15 plus years through our thought leadership and delivery in electronic and digital signature. The DocuSign Agreement Cloud now enables you to prepare, sign, act on, and manage all of your agreements across their full life cycle. With industry leading uptime, our web and mobile applications serve more than 1 million paying customers. And while our first party applications are quite popular, more than 60% of our daily transaction volume originates from the applications built by our partners and by developers like you, ultimately creating custom solutions for your users and customers. You're all part of a very vibrant and growing DocuSign developer community, and we wanna make sure that you can get started fast and you have access to the full power of the DocuSign Agreement Cloud. Now, if you're new to DocuSign, it's really important that you get to know the Dev Center. The DocuSign Developer Center is your one-stop shop for everything that you need to get started quickly and discover and learn more about expanding your usage of the Agreement Cloud. You're gonna find everything there from APIs to code samples to sample applications that you can access with a click and get started in a hurry. Now, if you've used DocuSign and the Dev Center before, you're going to be pleased to know that we continue to invest in making it even easier to search, discover, and get started fast with new topics and concepts as you're taking advantage of advanced capabilities within the Agreement Cloud. Earlier this year, we ran a benchmark study on the Developer Center, and the average time for participants to build their very first integration is now down to less than 15 minutes. We're really pleased about the feedback you gave us along the way in getting there, and we're happy with the results. We want to keep working to improve that time to value for you. When we think about our developer tools, though, as a whole, it all starts with our award-winning eSignature API that won the 2021 Best Software API Award from API World. Now, this API features more than 400 endpoints, and it's actually the same API that we use in building our applications, too. With the eSignature API, which is where a lot of people start, you can create seamless customer and employee experiences for your users. You can reduce human error by automating basic workflows around sending and signing, and you can connect DocuSign across your entire software and system stack. You can embed and maintain the branding that's important to you in delivering your applications and experiences ultimately to your customers. But the Agreement Cloud enables a lot more than simply embedding, sending, and signing into your applications. Over the last several years, we've expanded the number of APIs and SDKs that are available to you. For those of you that need to automate the administration of DocuSign, 
take bulk operations around sending and signing and monitor those activities on an ongoing basis, the admin API is your answer. If you have advanced security requirements and needs, we've exposed the underlying API that's used in DocuSign Monitor, our advanced security monitoring capabilities that integrate with the likes of Splunk and other enterprise security monitoring systems, providing you great extensibility and integration into enterprise environments. And everything that we do in terms of launching new products, we seek to expose those APIs to enable you to embed and customize the experiences that you're giving your users. Notable examples here include the DocuSign Identify API, which allows you to integrate additional checks and validation around user identity natively right in your own applications. This allows you to check a government issued ID like a passport or a driver's license and validate it against a third party service that we integrate for you and provide. Furthermore, you can also grab some of the basic information off of those forms of identity using the API and use that to automate form fill and completion of other information within your applications. This saves you time and it improves accuracy in what you're doing too. So making sure we're opening our APIs and making things extensible is a critical part of what we do. And the Dev Center features access to you for all of these API capabilities and so much more that you can learn about. One of the things we're super excited about is the expansion of the DocuSign API set for contract lifecycle management. Contract lifecycle management helps you to prepare better structured agreements, negotiate those agreements in an automated and guided fashion, and then really take action on those agreements, operationalizing the obligations that are required to complete them. And as Kamal talked about, there's a lot of exciting advancements that are coming in the area of smart agreements and automation. And the foundation of that really is contract lifecycle management. Here to share a little bit about contract lifecycle management is one of our partners and Cherry Manro from our partner solutions team. Cherry? Thank you, Tom. Welcome, Lewis. We're so excited to have you here with us today. Thank you, Sherry. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Before we jump into the contract lifecycle management implementation Informa's built, would you please tell us a little bit about Informa and the different use cases you're trying to solve for? Sure. Uh, we began our journey with DocuSign about seven years ago. And the initial focus was on the timeshare industry, which has now evolved into real estate, financial services, and the public sector. In the timeshare business, timing is critical. It's important to close the sale with speed and precision. If there's a delay in creating documents, customers may walk away and the sale may be lost. So getting ready to execute documents with the customer at the right time is a vital part of a smooth sales experience. Historically, timeshare solutions relied on printing hundreds of pages of documents. And without the proper systems in place, it was also difficult to keep documents in sync with regulatory compliance rules. So we always work close in partnership with our clients and the journey has been one of true digital transformation to create a fast, precise and fully digitized document execution journey. Well, I've definitely been in my share of timeshare presentations and can attest to the amount of paperwork involved and agree that that point of sale experience is pretty critical to closing the deal. So tell us more about the solution and the digital transformation you've undertaken. Yeah, when we first started, it was all about simplification and efficiency around the sales process. But our teams worked very closely with DocuSign and we ended up building key pieces of an end-to-end -end digital transformation solution. It really serves as a flexible business rules engine, which can be customized based on the customer's workflow and business vocabulary. So this allows them to configure business logic based on conditional parameters and their own criteria. They're all evaluated by the rules engine as the documents are generated. That's exciting. So uh, tell us more about the solution. What exactly did you build? Well, we did start with the sales side of the business, and but we now help by side uh, business processes, especially with procurement and legal counsels. The key elements of our platform are two, Informa enhancement products powered by DocuSign and the DocuSign APIs. First product we have is DocGen, which is a contract lifecycle management solution that generates documents based on the specific business rules of our customers. It creates clauses dynamically and can reduce the amount of baseline templates by more than 10 times. After these documents are generated, and they can be signed and managed electronically using our eDocs product, which enables e-signatures from the purchasers across several point of sale tablets. So you're leveraging multiple APIs in order to build this end-to-end -end customer journey. 
your DocGen product integrates with the DocuSign CLM API while your eDocs integrates with our eSignature API. That's exactly right. And we build this platform using the Microsoft technology stack. So our engineers wrote the backend code in C-sharp.net core, which enables us to leverage the DocuSign eSignature C-sharp SDK. Now for the CLM API, we just make direct API calls. Now the capabilities of eSignature and CLM are great on their own, but when we put them together and tie them in with our smart solutions, we see truly transformative results that increase profitability and the value of balance sheets. That's fantastic. Tell us more about the results that your end customers are seeing. Well, tactically, our timeshare clients reduce the total number of templates by 10 times, and they can produce more than 30 documents, some of which are legally binding and regulated documents, as well as property deeds within a couple of minutes and provide a very smooth agreement execution experience. Now, strategically, at the moment of the execution, that customer interaction becomes a digitized mortgage-backed security with real value in the market, almost immediately, as soon as we do the integration of vaulting. That's so impressive. You've taken a really, really complex workflow and simplified it with this set of technologies. So what's next in store for Informa and DocuSign? Well, I'm glad you asked. Our three-year plan is very focused on our partnership with you and productizing our integrated platforms so that our partners can take these capabilities to their customers more easily. And we've been looking to enhance our eDocs offering by adding remote online notarization capabilities using the DocuSign Notary API. And we've recently delivered a similar solution in the financial services industry, where one of our customers is using it to generate documents and e-signatures for more than 300,000 consumer loans annually. We're very proud to build these ecosystems with DocuSign and look forward to partnering more with you. Thank you so much, Louis. We're so excited to see the innovation that you've introduced in the timeshare space. And it's exciting for us as an organization to work with partners like Informa that are leveraging the advanced capabilities of the Agreement Cloud. Louis, we look forward to continuing to partner with you on future innovations. And for those of you looking to hear more about how Informa leveraged the CLM and eSign APIs together, be sure to check out their session at 10 a.m. this morning. Back to you, Tom. That's great. Thank you, Cherry, and thank you, Lewis, for your partnership and great work there. You know, getting started quickly is really important. In addition to making the developer center better and more accessible, we're focusing on getting you up and running in a hurry. We're doing that by simplifying the entire partner onboarding process for both our systems integrations and solutions developers like yourselves. For partners like Informas and developers of any kind, this focus on a simplified experience is something we're investing in across the board. As part of getting you up and running in a hurry, we want to make sure that you have the familiar tools and client libraries that you want to use every day in building your solutions. And today, we're excited to announce the introduction of the client-side JavaScript API and SDK from DocuSign. With this SDK, you can get started quickly in embedding signing directly in your applications and doing a whole lot more. What you're seeing on the screen now is just seven lines of code that will actually embed the signing experience directly within your client side application. And there's so much more power of those 400 plus endpoints sitting behind this SDK that's available to you to grow with and to take advantage of. We wanna help you get started quickly and make sure that you can be productive in your front end experiences as well as your more advanced workflows. And as you continue to adopt our APIs and work more extensively with them, we think it's important that you understand what you're using and the performance of those experiences to help you further troubleshoot the bottlenecks and provide a great end user experience ultimately to your users. Once you're up and running and scaling those apps, you can take advantage of what we call the API Usage Center, which is about to be released here in just the next month or two. The API Usage Center will give you visibility into the core metrics around performance and latency, the API calls that you're making, and help you really deliver the best and most optimized experience possible using DocuSign. But it doesn't stop there. As I mentioned, we not only want to help you embed the base experiences around sending and signing, but we also want to help you automate important workflows in HR and employee onboarding scenarios, in customer and sales scenarios, and in all forms of automation that exist inside of your organization. And we know that most companies and applications don't exist in any kind of asylum. 
more and more today, we're interconnected in the econ anywhere economy that we live in, and our applications need to be interconnected just as our business processes do too. And that's why we've been really excited to introduce something we call Recipient Connect and now make that available via our eSignature API as well. Now, many of you know that the Connect service is a webhook service that is provided from DocuSign directly. Historically, when you sent a document, the Connect service would allow you to capture events like the opening and accessing of that document. So you could send custom reminders or track access and productivity of people using your solutions. It would allow you to know when everybody had signed or declined to sign and a document was complete and in a state that you might want to follow up on. For example, in a scenario where everybody quickly completes a sales order, you might capture an event associated with that when everybody has signed and now send out and generate the invoice automatically. The Connect service, however, only worked when you were the originator of the envelope that was being sent for many years. Now we're excited to say that Recipient Connect is a portion of the Connect service too. With Recipient Connect, you can take similar actions to advance your own workflows within your application, to write back to other systems within your custom environment that you have in your enterprise, and you can do it all even when you are just the recipient on an envelope. You get access to the core events that you're supposed to and the data that's associated with those events for you as a recipient, enabling you to make a more complete integrated solution that leverages the activities that your partners and other use, others using DocuSign uh, are taking advantage of as well. We're really excited. Recipient Connect is something we just introduced uh, in the past couple of months. The API is open and available, and we already have partners looking at taking advantage of it. I want to encourage you to give it a look and to show you how Recipient Connect works. I'm actually going to hand it over to Kevin. Thanks, Tom. Excited to be here. The challenge many companies face in the e-signature workflow is real-time visibility into DocuSign transactions, leading to bottlenecks resulting in the loss of productivity and potential revenue. We are excited to announce a new enhancement called Recipient Connect, webhooks for inbound transactions, which allows recipients, organizations receiving envelopes, to receive real-time statuses, details, and documents for incoming DocuSign transactions. We will go through a common scenario to showcase the increased visibility into transactions across multiple signers and the ability to create custom dashboards to track progress. In this example, we have three main characters, Preston Stanfield, the customer who is filing an insurance claim for a recent car accident, Priya Kokar, an independent insurance agent for Tally Insurance who represents Preston, and Larry Lee, the claims manager at Tally who will sign off on the claim. We start off with Priya, who has received a request to submit a claim to Tally Insurance on behalf of her client, Preston Stanfield. Priya has saved a template for filing accident claims in her portal, which she selects and chooses the order of recipients to sign off. In this case, Preston, the customer, and Tally Insurance. Preston receives an email to a secure link that provides the form to sign, which he can easily open from his desktop or mobile device to execute and submit. Once the document has been opened, Preston can submit a signature, which will then pass the envelope along the queue to Larry Lee at Tally Insurance. The final signer in this flow is Larry Lee at Tally Insurance. Larry will receive an envelope requiring a signature to execute the claim, which we'll get to in a moment. With Recipient Connect, Tally Insurance has built their own envelope dashboard to show their organization how many envelopes are in their queue. Now let's take a look at the envelope dashboard they've developed. With Recipient Connect, Customers can create custom dashboards within their own internal application to track their envelopes progress in near real time with recipients inside their organization. Now that Preston has signed the document, Larry Lee from Tally Insurance will be sent an envelope and his pending total will increase from nine to 10. Using Recipient Connect, Tally Insurance now has greater visibility into what their organization is being sent. This allows them to quickly act upon a bottleneck of envelopes, like Larry Lee having 10 insurance claims that need to be signed. Going back into Larry's portal, we will sign the envelope and finalize his signature on the claim. A quick look back at the dashboard now show Larry Lee's pending has decreased from 10 to 9. Recipient Connect's webhooks allow for real-time monitoring of the queue rather than constantly pulling the API, which can cause limitations and eat up resources. The configuration will be listed under the settings in the DocuSign portal. Under Settings, we have a section called Integrations with Connect listed as an option. Here, we can set up the name of the Connect configuration and the link directing to the dashboard they have created. No longer will they need to manually check users' inbox for updates on envelopes. 
So to recap, we showcase how three separate users from different organizations are able to complete an e-signature transaction. Priya was able to submit a claim on behalf of her client Preston to Tally Insurance, and with the increased visibility, help speed the process of reimbursing Preston. Recipient Connect allows companies an improved workflow with increased visibility and an overall better customer experience. For those of you all in on the citizen developer movement, Rom will showcase agreement actions where you can empower your employees with ClickSnack code. Our partners, Christian from Google Workspace is here with our very own GDE slash PM, Jeremy, to talk about what you can do with an app script library. We will show you what you can do with the Microsoft Power Platform and Zapier has some awesome content on how to use Zap templates to connect your software stack. And across the ecosystem, Recipient Connect, as Fidelity showed you, you can expand your use cases. General Networks is here to show you how they built a custom integration using DocuSign and ServiceNow APIs. A partner team will talk you through what an MVP looks like and Salesforce. How could we not talk about Salesforce? Learn about leveraging DocuSign API with the one and only SFDC. But what I can say with 110% honesty is I cannot wait for tomorrow morning. It is probably the best topic I've ever seen in my five years here at DocuSign. The code that we all write, the process that we all strive to optimize, that's just one dimension of the story. The logic that we apply, the rules that we create, the models that we look at to create our optimizations are equally, if not more important. Joy Bulumwini is a poet of code who uses art and research to illuminate the social implications of artificial intelligence. She founded the Algorithmic Justice League to create a world with more equitable and accountable technology. Her TED featured talk on algorithmic bias has over 1 million views. And she'll be here. I'm not fangirling, you're fangirling. Don't know what you're talking about. She will be here for a fireside chat with our deputy CISO, Jessica Ferguson. It is definitely a session I won't miss, and I know you should not miss. Closing out our event tomorrow is a roundtable from our Good Code Hackathon. Charlotte Flanagan leads DocuSign Impact, and she'll be joined by Dr. Linian Pintia, VP of Conservation Science at the Jane Goodall Institute, as well as Carly Bergstein from, from the Be Positive Foundation and Neil Sorter, who built one of the winning projects for the Good Code Hackathon. Let's talk logistics before I let you go through. You're obviously going to want to join your sessions, right? There is a Watch Now button on the screen. Don't press it yet. I have more to tell you. There is also a full agenda, should you need it, a link somewhere here. And on the side of your screen, there is a chat box where you can post all your Q&As. We have an AMA if you have any hard hitting or specific questions that you need an expert answer on. We love your feedback on the workshops. So you'll see a survey link pop up towards the end of each session. Please fill that out. We do read your feedback. I'm not saying I'm highly competitive or anything, but join us tomorrow for trivia night. You can register your team and hopefully win some prizes. Who doesn't love some free stuff? You're guaranteed to have a great time anyway. And you'd be surprised at what you know or what you don't know. Just saying. And while we're talking APIs, we'd love your feedback on them. Hit us up at feedback.docusign.com whenever you're building. And to address the elephant in the room, yes, my t-shirt did arrive in the post when Tom and Kamal were presenting. Super cool, right? It changes. Changes. We heat. It's amazing to be able to get your own t-shirt. Yours, not mine. You can't get this one. Um, you have to attend some sessions. Yes, attend over the next two days. And then one of these lovely t-shirts can be yours. So are you ready? Let's go. Let's build together. Have a great event and I'll see you soon.